Hey guys, your girl Jamada here. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about all things finances. We talk about business credit. We talk about personal credit and we also talk about investing. Guys, shout out to all my old and new subscribers. You guys are the real MVP. Thank you for always supporting this channel. If you have not already, I will urge you to go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a like. Guys, I want us today to talk about student loan forgiveness, okay? This video is an update on student loan forgiveness. We're gonna talk about key dates and details so far, you know, and, and some shady stuff going on under the radar, okay? Um, yeah, so we, we're gonna shine a light on all things student loan forgiveness. Now, in August, guys, um, President Biden passed um in august president um, biden passed a bill where um if you're a single borrower who earns under 125k you can qualify for ten thousand dollars in federal student loan debt cancellation and if you're married with income under two hundred and fifty thousand, as a couple you would each be qualify for the ten thousand dollars in federal student loan debt cancellation okay guys another thing um with this is that if you're a pell grant recipient guys it makes you eligible for an additional ten thousand dollars to be canceled um, for a total of twenty thousand dollars if you're a pell grant recipient all right now guys let's talk about some dates that you need to familiarize yourself with and you need to be and that you need to be aware of guys so this is the timeline okay we're in october of 2022 um the biden administration said that in early october which is now student loan forgiveness applications will be open now you will need to sign up for this i'll drop the link below guys um even though they say that you know the government has if you are filing taxes in this country and if you are a student with student loan debt trust and believe they have your information they know what you make if you file taxes okay they know what you owe they have your information so it will be automatic however i will urge you to fill out the form fill out the application guys which will open early october so that should be any day now okay so that way you would be notified when the process has officially commenced and then you can go ahead and apply so basically the Biden administration states that the application should be short, simple, and sweet um, because they already have all your information. You can just go ahead and apply, fill out the application, and it should be smooth sailing from there. This is for October now. Okay, moving on to November. So November 15th, guys, they want everyone to apply for student loan forgiveness by November 15th. Um, so that you can, you know, the process can be smooth and seamless because come December 31st of 2022, this year, guys, okay, um, the payment pause from the pandemic, guys, will expire on that date, on December 31st of 2022. And then beginning January, you know, regular payments will resume, okay, with interest rates accruing, so... That's what is best to go ahead and fill out the application, get it out of the way before November 15th so that, you know, they can forgive the 10,000 or 20,000 for some people that might, you know, help a lot. So go ahead and do it, get it out of the way before November 15th because you don't want that student loan to resume in January of 2023 you know and it starts to accrue all that interest you don't want that so if you can get some of that money um cancel guys please go ahead and do it okay so now the department of education expects that this process this student loan forgiveness process should take about 
four to six weeks turnaround for forgiveness. That's why they're urging everyone to apply, okay, by November 15th. That's why the urgency, because um, come January 1st, your student loans is going to resume. Regular student loan payments will resume, okay? After a three-year moratorium, thanks to COVID, okay? At least, you know, some good things came out of COVID, out of the pandemic, okay? But guys, get this out of the way. Do it so that you can get some of your student loans forgiven guys if not all of it some people it might wipe everything out for them okay because you don't want interest to start accruing um on your you know remaining balances because it's it's definitely going to start january 1st 2023 um so the final deadline to get your student loan forgiveness and to get this money guys is december 31st of 2023 so the Biden administration is giving us an entire year to do this and get it out of the way but i would say you don't even have that much time guys because come to me january 1st 2023 you know you should have that done before then okay because that's when your regular payment will resume so um yeah this they're throwing us a ball here guys okay so catch it and run with it and and you know get it to the goal okay so this is great guys there are 43 million federal student loan borrowers guys okay in this country okay which have accrued over more than 500 billion in debt is that crazy over 500 billion 43 million okay individuals guys so i'm gonna drop the link below so that you can go ahead and you know go to the portal fill out the application get in front of the line so that you can see if you know you're you qualify for anything it doesn't hurt guys okay um please go ahead and do it now let's get into this this um shady business that's been going on under the radar guys okay so the Biden administration guys did some revision okay quietly okay while we weren't looking we weren't paying attention okay they quietly changed the wording um into this student loan forgiveness or cancellation um documentation guys okay they excluded some borrowers guys okay so borrowers who have parkins loans and federal family education loans guys those people will likely be affected okay both groups were formally qualified for loan cancellation in the beginning it was everybody come on come all if you have student loan and you meet the qualification the income qualification you were qualified for the the that you could get to the ten thousand or the twenty thousand if you were a Pell Grant recipient. Now they went ahead, guys, and made some changes under the radar where a lot of people didn't notice, or so they thought. Okay, so guys, the if you're a borrower with Perkins loans or the family, the federal family education loans, guys, please call them up and find out guys you don't want to miss this opportunity it's about four million americans who have those loans okay and you might be affected so you want to get this money canceled you want to get this student loan debt canceled by all means so i would suggest that you call up and you find out if you are a borrower with the perkins loans or the federal family education loans okay guys so let's do a little recap because this is important stuff here october early october the application would open okay by november 15th you want to make sure that you have filled out that application guys okay december 31st of 2022 guys okay your regular payments will resume okay this january 1st of 2023 regular student loan payments will resume after a three-year moratorium guys i'm sorry december 31st 
the payment pause expires, okay? December 31st of 2022, the payment pause expires. January 1st of 2023, your regular student loan payments will resume and it will start accruing interest rates interest right away okay by december 31st of 2023 that's the final deadline to apply for student loan forgiveness i will say that again december 31st of 2023 is the final deadline to apply for student loan forgiveness okay i just wanted to share this with the community guys um if you can get any debt erased that's a plus okay that's a plus that's a plus because that frees up your money to do other things, to invest, to, you know, build wealth, to start your new business, or, you know, you can put it into marketing, guys, you can acquire real estate, whatever the possibilities is endless. So if you can get any debt canceled or forgiven, guys, take advantage of it, okay? But I'm not your financial advisor, Disclaimer, 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 okay? So this is for educational purposes. This is for entertainment purposes, okay? Thank you, guys. This does it for this video. I wish you guys all the best. Please be on the lookout for my ebook on business credit dropping October 24th. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and drop me your favorite emoji. I wish you all the best in all of your endeavors. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.